Keyboard shortcuts can make you more efficient and make you look cool in front of your friends. I got 10 of them you're gonna to wanna to know coming up next. All right, keyboard shortcut number one is actually gonna be a couple of them tied together working with your Windows virtual desktops. If you've ever been in this situation where you've got a desktop covered with Windows, right? You got a lot of different applications open and you just wanna to get to a clean desktop to start a new project or a new task, but you don't wanna close all those windows, you're gonna really like this one. This is gonna be Control, Windows key, and D. And what that's going to do, that keyboard shortcut is gonna bring you to a brand new desktop. Look, a nice clean desktop where I can open up a new application and really focus in on whatever it is. Maybe solitaire, right? I need to take a break. I wanna play a little solitaire. There we go. All right, so that was Control, Windows key, D to create a new virtual desktop. But here's the really cool thing. The other desktop with all those windows open, all that work that I was doing, that's not gone. Another little bonus keyboard shortcut for you is gonna be Control, Windows key, and the left arrow, and Control, Windows key, and the right arrow. Those are gonna let me switch or cycle through all of those different virtual desktops. So Control, Windows key, D to generate a new desktop, Control, Windows key, left or right arrow to navigate between the existing virtual desktops. So if virtual desktops are not your thing, keyboard shortcut number two is gonna be for you. Let's take a look at how we can just minimize all of those open windows to clean up our desktop. So there's actually a couple, there's three I'm gonna show you here. The first one is gonna be Windows key M. And you can remember M for minimize. Notice all of my open windows got minimized and I've got a nice clean desktop there, all right? So that gives me a nice clutter-free space that I can work with. They're all minimized, they're not closed. I can bring them back by simply clicking on their icon down there in the taskbar. The second option would be Windows key D. Now this is gonna look like it does the same thing, right? It minimized all of those active windows. But here's the cool thing about Windows key D is if you do Windows key D again, it brings them right back. I don't have to click on each one in the taskbar. So me personally, I actually like that one a little better than that good old Windows key M, but whichever one works for you is fine. The third one I wanna show you is maybe you don't need to minimize them. Maybe you just need to get a quick quick peek at your background, all right? And that's gonna be Windows key comma. Now for this one, I'm actually holding the Windows key down. I hit Windows key comma, and I'm holding the Windows key, and you notice that you can kind of see an outline of the windows, but I can see all the way to the background, right? When I'm done, I simply let go of the Windows key, and all my windows come back. So rather than minimize them, we're just gonna kinda hide them or make them transparent. So maybe you wanna get, maybe you get that background of your kid and you need a quick peek, there you go, Windows key comma is for you. With today's large monitors, it's easier than ever to work with two applications side by side. Wouldn't it be easy if you could automatically arrange them like that? You can with this next keyboard shortcut, right? Windows key and left or right arrow is gonna allow you to snap a window to either the left or the right side of your monitor. Let me show you what I mean. I currently have my browser open, and let's say you're watching a video and you wanna take some notes on that. So you'd want the video, playing, and then maybe you want your notepad or Word or what have you next to that. With my browser open, I'm gonna do a Windows key left arrow, and notice it snapped it over to the left-hand side. Now I'm gonna open up my note-taking application, and I'm gonna do a Windows key right arrow. And notice it snapped it over to the right side, and now I can take notes and watch my video at the same time. When you have a lot of applications open on your desktop, switching between them can be tricky, Keyboard shortcut number four is gonna be the one you want. This is actually another one of those bonuses where I'm gonna throw in a couple of extra ones as well. So the old way of switching between applications still works. If you remember this, Alt and Tab, right? If I hold down my Alt key and then I tab, I'll get a little bar with a thumbnail of all of the different applications that I have open. Now here's the trick with this one. I still have Alt held down, right? You have to hold Alt down the whole time and then you can slowly tab between the different ones, right? And whenever I let go of Alt, so if I end up on File Explorer and I let go of the Alt, that's gonna be the window that comes into focus. Do it again, Alt tab to the calculator, let go, and then the calculator comes into focus. So it's like that old game where you're running around and you're sitting in the chairs, right? Whichever one you end up on uh, when you let go of Alt is gonna be the one that pops up to the front, right? Now they've updated this a little bit, they've added a key, and they've made it a little bit easier to work with, although the, the keys are a little bit tricky sometimes. Control Alt Tab, right, is gonna be the newer way of doing this. And notice, hands-free, right? So Control Alt Tab, I get that same bar, 
the same thumbnails of the windows or the applications that I have open, but now my hands are free. And I can tab between the different ones until I get to the one I want, right? And then I can either hit enter or the space bar once I've got to the one I want, and it'll bring that particular window into focus. So that was control alt tab. The third one I want to show you is going to be Windows Key Tab. This is the brand new way of doing things. Uh, and Windows Key Tab can be a little confusing sometimes. I kind of prefer the other ones. But this allows me to not only look at the different applications that I have, as well as the different virtual desktops that I have. If you watch the, the previous shortcut, right, we had those Windows Virtual Desktops. If you have multiple desktops, you'll actually see those right across the top there. And so I can switch to another desktop and then I can switch to the application on that desktop. Now I'm just hovering my mouse over them, I'm not actually clicking, right? And I go back to desktop one and I can pick the application that I want to bring to focus and now the calculator is up. So that was Windows key tab and then you can kind of hover over to select the virtual desktop and then the particular application on that desktop that you want to bring into focus. Now I know this has happened to just about everyone. You've got an application that's hung up and it won't respond at all and you need to end it, but you've got other applications that you don't want to lose data on and you don't want to have to reboot your system. So keyboard shortcut number five is how to force quit one of those applications, all right? For this one, what I want you to do is control shift escape. Control shift escape is the keyboard shortcut to get to your task manager where I can see a list of all of the running applications. I can simply find the application in that list that's not responding, highlight it, and then select end task right down here at the bottom. And that's going to force quit that application. So I'll click end task and notice my calculator disappeared. So this is an easy way to quit an application without having to reboot your entire system. You ever try to take a picture of your desktop and you break out your phone and you're trying to get it so the glare uh, is not too bad, right? Well, keyboard shortcut number six is how you can do a screenshot from your computer, all right? So the keyboard shortcut is gonna be Windows key, and then on your keyboard, look for a key that says PRTSC, or print screen. You notice on my keyboard, on my shortcuts on my screen, it says snapshot, right? Your key actually says print screen on there, and what that does is it takes a snapshot of your desktop. Now by default, that's gonna go into File Explorer, and if you navigate over to your Pictures folder, you'll see a folder called Screenshots. And if I go in there, there is a picture that I took of my desktop. So now I can circle that dude and send it to my friend. You ever seen this guy? He's really corny. Now you can take pictures of your desktop. So you found that perfect recipe, but your computer's in the office, not in the kitchen. How do you make it work? Keyboard shortcut number seven, print your screen. Control P is gonna allow me to print my screen. So once I've found that recipe, I'm simply gonna do a Control P keyboard shortcut. That brings up my print dialog box and there you go, I can now print off my pork chili verde recipe, take it to the kitchen and make this. I'm gonna sneak one more in here because control P is kind of the, the new way of doing things and you've got this nice little dialogue. One more you should be familiar with is control shift P. This is gonna bring back the old school print dialogue box which some of you might be more familiar with and maybe a little more comfortable with. So control P to get the new print dialog box, control shift P to get the old school print dialog box. The Action Center in Windows 10 is like a one-stop shop for a lot of common settings and notifications. And it's really easy to get there with keyboard shortcut number eight. Windows key A is gonna bring up your Action Center. So if I do a Windows key A, notice I bring up my Action Center. I don't have any notifications currently down at the bottom got a lot of cool settings that I need. My nightlight, my airplane mode maybe, uh, my VPN, my location, a lot of cool things down there. Windows key A gets you right to them. So the Action Center has a lot of the common settings, but we all know there's a lot more settings than that in Windows 10. How do we get to all of those? Keyboard shortcut number nine, Windows key I. Windows key I brings up your settings dialog box where I can get to things like system and devices and personalization. Maybe I need to change my background. I can work with my privacy settings. I've got my updates and security, my accounts, all of this in one place. Windows key I is what got me there. Whether you're working in a corporate environment or working from home, keeping your data safe is always important. Keyboard shortcut number 10 will help you. Windows key L is the keyboard shortcut to lock your screen. So when you get ready to step away from your PC, simply hit Windows key L and that'll keep your data safe from prying eyes.
All right, folks, those are my top 10 keyboard shortcuts. I hope you find them as useful as I do. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel down below and check out more videos from IT Pro TV.